Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gyan. Today we are going to see one of the important topic in Checkpoint Firewall world which is how you can do high availability with VPNs specifically remote access VPNs so Checkpoint provide you flexibility where you can do the HA high availability with your remote access VPNs that means multiple gateways can be configured together to provide you the high availability so let's jump together so in checkpoint world this feature called multiple entry point vpn let's understand what is multiple entry point vpn if a single gateway provides access to internal resources for remote vpn connection then access to valuable resources to remote user is vulnerable should be the gateway become the unavailable to get rid of this sort of issues checkpoint developed a multi entry point map solution which was devised to provide an h solution for vpn however unlike cluster gateways map vpns are not restricted to the locations of gateways map security gateways can be managed by separate management servers there is no state synchronization needed between gateways if one map gateway fails the current connection is lost but another map gateway pick up the next connection this is what happens when you do the map with the gateways the vpn client select which gateway site will take over the connection and should the first fail cluster gateways make the selection themselves in a cluster excel deployment let's see how map multi entry point vpns works so map vpns use the proprietary pro uh, probing protocol name itself probing protocol pp to send special udp rdp packet to port 259 to discover whether a location IP is reachable. It is used by the peer to continuously probe all map security gateways. The probe will indicate if a gateway is available or not. In this way, each map gateway share its status with the others and update each should condition change. You can define map in a two ways. One is your explicit NIP and another one is your implicit NIP. Let's understand what happens in explicit NIP. Only star VPN community using more than one central security gateway can be defined explicit as a MIP, MAP VPN. This is recommended method. Explicit MIP VPNs can be configured to have the entry point security gateway chosen either by selecting the closest gateway to the source first to respond selecting the closest gateway to the destination by vpn domain selecting randomly for load distribution selecting from a priority list map rules and in explicit map if fully or partially overlapping encryption domains exist or where primary or a backup gateways are configured then the map VPNs can be implicitly defined. Implicit map VPNs can be configured to have the entry point security gateway selected either by first to respond when no primary security gateway is available, all gateways have equal priority, and the first gateway to respond to the probing RDB packet gets chosen as entry point. Usually, that means the gateway closest to the remote VPN peer is proximity primary backup if the primary security gateway fails VPN connectivity is made to go through the backup gateways and load distribution if all security gateways share equal priority and the same VPN domain the traffic load can be distributed so that the connections are shared evenly between all the gateways for remote access map VPNs, each client must use office mode and assign its own pool of address. 
If the client are connected via routing backbone, then its pool must be routed to the appropriate site. If the client is connected via site to site, then it needs to be included in the encryption domain of each gateway. This is uh, some small and valuable details of MAP multi entry point VPN. So, guys, if you like my video, then please subscribe my channel and press bell icon so that latest videos whatsoever I'll be producing will come to you as soon as I uploaded them. Thanks for watching this video. I have a wonderful day ahead. Bye bye.